Hi everyone. Hey everyone. <laughs> Welcome back to another episode of the Guerrero's Journey Hi. and Truth <laughs> Ministries. So today we are going to do an, an object, object lesson. lesson. Awesome. Um, so of Jake, a backpack full of worries. Yeah. Well, okay. let's not jump ahead. No. It, since <laughs> if you're new to our channel, welcome. Make sure to yes. subscribe. Comment. And hit the post notification bell. And hit the like button. Oh yeah. Also leave a like. <laughs> um, but in case you're new to our channel and you've never heard of what an object lesson is, and also this is actually our first time doing an object lesson on our channel, I but think, is it? yeah, an object lesson is where we take something from the real world, maybe an automatic object that you use every single day, or just a scenario from life, and we use that as an example to relate it to the Bible, so it can help you guys see it in. A worldly perspective, <clears throat> yep. um, just to show what it looks like in an object form to make it easier yep. to understand. So today our object lesson is a backpack, backpack full, full of worries. worries. Now what that's about is since the coronavirus, I feel like a lot of people yep. have been worrying a lot a more lot. about, and especially a lot of the protesting and Antifa yeah. and Black Lives Matter. And People are just worrying about a lot of things Yeah, worrying that probably about, shouldn't be worried about. Yeah, but. like maybe about their shop being broken into because of protesting. Just crazy stuff. Worrying about paychecks and all this, you know, crazy stuff a normal human being normally worries about. But we're going to talk about your worries today and break you from that. Actually, Jesus is going to break you from that, but he's going to use us to do it. So. So let's dive right into the object lesson. So as you can see, when a kid goes to school, whenever you went to school, everyone used a backpack and it would fill up with books and Jacob knows how heavy it gets. Yeah. So do I. No, she don't. She's homeschooled. <laughs> That's easy. actually true. I don't have to carry my books around. But it is heavy and annoying after years and years and years and years of having to carry the yep. backpack around and it only getting heavier because you're getting up a grade. But now we're turning this into real life. See, we all wear these backpacks and we don't even realize it. Like, we all have these burdens we carry around and all these chains we are bond to. Um, and it all weighs us down. And it all becomes a worry because we start worrying, worrying about other things. And when we overwhelm ourselves with our worries of just, what am I going to cook for supper? Or... Um, just the daily worries it gets overwhelming and there's just times where people like let it get too far and they just break out but we're here to tell you to give your worries to God yep. so that that doesn't happen so our first, first point yes is Jesus said not to worry that's why you shouldn't worry because Jesus said so and that, I think that's what should be based off everything that we live on yeah is because Jesus said so <laughs> <laughs> um, but anyway, it says that, where it says that, is in Matthew 6, uh, verse 25 through 27. And it says, Therefore I tell you, do not worry about your life. What, what, what you will eat or drink or about your body, what you will wear. Is not life more than food and the body more than clothes? Look at the birds in the air. They, um, they do not sow or reap or store away in barns, and yet your heavenly Father feeds them. Are you not much more valuable than they? Can any one of you, by worrying, add a single hour to your life? That is so true. Because you know what? God, He provides for every living thing, every single bacteria, animal, life form, people living out in the wilderness. <laughs> he provides for all of them, all in the same way. And they don't even have any simple things like we have. And so, but he feeds them all the same. So will he not provide you for more? And then just because you're worrying, you're not adding anything to your life. You're just, if anything, you might be taken away because then you're adding stress and yeah. the stress isn't good for you, man. You might be losing hair and then your teeth. <laughs> <laughs> or you might get the graze. But what we're trying to get to with that is that God uh, treasures us more than he does treasure any other creation that we he We were made. made in his image. Exactly. So, so he our, treasures us more. we're more valuable than the things on the earth. And in case you haven't known this, this is something we actually learned previously, is that um, it's a little off topic, but it goes with the how God treasures us. And it's actually something really cool. God treasures us even more than his angels. 
which is like really mind-blowing because the angels were already made to be how God wanted them to be perfect you know they were made to be the way God made them without they any were the imperfection servants of God <laughs> exactly exactly servants of God so there was no imperfection to be made there and us who are sinners God actually loves us or favors us over the angels which to me that just like That's blows crazy. my mind and so then when he says even over animals like he just wants us to know how important we actually are to him and so our second point is um, that Jesus, that what our second point to you guys is that you can trust Jesus with your worries, okay? Mm -hmm. We want you to know that you can trust their God, our creator. You can trust him with your life. That's how far, because he created the life that he's given you. So, of course, you can trust him with yeah. it. He's not going to let you yeah. go down without him saying so. so. Yeah. <laughs> and um, so... We can trust God with our worries. If anything, He already knows what our worries are, and He wants to take it from us. That's why He sent His only Son to die for us. So our scripture for this one is First Peter chapter 5. Um, I'm going to read uh, verses 6 to 8, and it says, Humble yourselves, therefore, under God's mighty hands, that He may lift you up in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him because you, he cares for you. Mm. Be alert and of sober mind. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. So right there, that scripture also, number one thing that popped out to me was that, again, it says, he cares for you. Jesus cares for us, okay? He's going to take these worries away from us. He's going to provide for us. He's going to meet all our worries and all of our needs. So right there, Jesus cares for us in the second verse. But in the first verse, it shows that we are under God's mighty hand that he may lift you up in due time, okay? So he's saying that just wait on the Lord's timing and we will be lifted up in his hand, in the hand of our creator who will comfort us, who will give us the needs that we need. And then I love the last verse because it shows us and it alerts us and it, a, a, awareness. I don't, it's not awareness, but it awares. Awakens? Oh, yes. <laughs> there you go. Something like that. It awakens us to know that Satan's around here like a pouring line ready to just attack us in any way of our life and if we Get into worry. We're gonna let that that's gonna be a foothold We're gonna let Satan have in our life and when he takes a foothold He always takes more than just a mile in your life. He'll go f as far yep. as he can with it Yep, just like the receivers or I don't know sports. I don't even know why I'm trying to quote it, but <laughs> never mind But yeah, just know that um just have that strong faith and our last point is don't worry <laughs> don't worry pray and give thanks <laughs> and always pray and never worry okay yep. I, we already said pray but it's never worry always pray and give thanks so just know guys Always. Never worry. <laughs> Always pray <laughs> and, give, and thanks. give thanks. Um, so thank you for hearing our object <laughs> lesson about backpack of worries. Yes, backpack and I of hope worries. this yeah, I hope this Please. guy's help <laughs> I was gonna talk to you. I don't know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I hope this helped you guys understand and see that don't carry around this luggage anymore, okay? No we, matter how pretty it is. All right, yes, no matter how pretty pink it is. But just unload it to God, okay? Give Him the worries. Don't let, don't go another day with having to struggle and stumble through this walk. This world's already hard enough as it is. And so just make sure you give the backpack of worries to God and feel That's that right. releaseness. It's an amazing it's, feeling it to be it's like released. A, you know, just a lot of weight off your shoulders. <laughs> Yeah, once you stop worrying about every single minute and every single second of your life and give it to God, you start allowing Him to lead your life and mm -hmm. Him to direct your path and Him to take care of every next step. So it so does. So then you don't have to worry about it. <laughs> exactly. So <laughs> how it correlates is actually just amazing. Because why would you why would you worry about the next second in your life if you can trust in a God that already knows the next twenty steps in your life? And you yeah. can just give that to him, and then why worry? What? Yeah, and some people even say, you know, um, 
about a personal relationship with God, they say, well, why do I need to talk to Him if He already knows everything that I do, every minute I make, and every second? Well, the reason why God likes to hear from you is because He likes to have that connection with you. Even he likes though having he, a conversation yeah, with you. Yeah, even though He already knows what's going to happen, he, he likes to hear it from you. He likes to hear you. He likes you. to talk to you. Talk to yeah, you. You're His child. Yeah, it's so it's just you. like a parent talking to his child about how their day was. That's exactly what he wants. He wants us just to tell him what your kids were up to or what you're doing. And so if you're another teenager watching this, don't feel alone no more, okay? There's all those times. I know I went feeling alone, but mm -hmm. I wasn't all those times because I had God with me and I just didn't even know it because I was so stuck in my worries, so blinded. It just didn't... I was mm -hmm. so blinded I didn't even get to see God next to me. So speaking of blindness, I don't have glasses. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I see Jacob don't have glasses right I know. today. <laughs> it's like in every video, and now I don't have them. So. <laughs> He's getting them repaired. But yes, remember, so. guys, stand for the truth, stand for Jesus. Bye. Bye.